or excuse me, I'm gonna send it over to Paul, who is up in Eagle HD. Paul, what are you taking a look at today? Hey, we're up over I-75 up near Fowler, Fletcher area, and traffic's moving really well. We haven't seen any accidents around the Bay Area this morning, so that's good news. And you know what is other good news? To tomorrow, I'll be doing a first pitch. So I have the baseball, I have the glove, and you know, I'm, I'm a natural born athlete. So I had to go to the TROP to see if they could give me a couple tips on how to throw the first pitch. I have all kinds of pop, don't I? All kinds. Out on the field of Tropicana Field. Is it hurting your hand? Uh, it's a, a slight stinging sensation right now. With Tampa Bay Rays bullpen coach Stan Borowski. <laughs> when I come out here, there's going to be a lot of people. There will be some people, yes, sir. How do you get over that? Uh, it takes experience. It takes time. It takes focus. For some advice on a first pitch. Should I throw... A fastball, curveball, slider, knuckleball, or just hope I get it over the plate? Well, we highly recommend, highly recommend the basic four-seam fastball grip. He says pitching is similar to my morning traffic reports. What you have to understand about throwing the first pitch is understanding helicopters like you do, that throwing the baseball is rotational in nature. Okay, I'm trying a fastball. This one should be, should be a strike. This one could get me signed. So... Now to the mound. So what should I do for a windup? Should I really even do one or just kind of start from a stretch? Well, it depends on what kind of show you want to put on, okay? Uh, if you want to be a little more old school, okay, then you absolutely have to give the old double dipsy, double dipsy do. Okay, here we go. Ah, right, here there, chicken and neck, chicken and neck. Oh, man, <laughs> man. Did you see that? I quit, man. I can't coach no better than that. You see that? that? I saw it. I caught it. Yeah. I saw the whole thing. Look in the I, camera and tell I'm looking them at the camera right now. Who is your next new pitcher? This guy right here. So you guys, this is my resignation. I'm a Tampa Bay Ray. He see said it. See ya. You know what would be wild? Paul. If like they accepted it. Didn't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would be wild if he comes out there on the mound tomorrow and just scorches 195 right down the middle. And they offer him a contract right on the spot. Be amazing. Paul, what you, you going to do Paul? it? Yeah, they, they told me that what they would do, they probably wouldn't have me start tomorrow. They would probably send me down to Port Charlotte, maybe have some spring training mm -hmm. games, mm -hmm. one or two, and then come back to Tampa and then probably pitch. But Stan was great. He said he was serious. He wasn't joking around. That was probably some of the best heat he's seen in years. Right. And right. so tomorrow for the Rays, 12-10, first pitch, Wednesday, June 29th. Be there. I will be there. And you know what? Maybe later I'll sign a few autographs before I turn in my notice <laughs> for so, Channel 8. I'm but so mad right at you now, right now. I'll, I'll stay. I cannot believe you get to do this. this well, is Paul Amison, last time in Eagle 8 HD, the newest player <laughs> for the Tampa Bay Rays. We appreciate it's you. It's been real, time. Paul. Yeah. It's been real, my friend. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> All right. Well, we have more, more news now. A cruise ship.